morning internet and welcome to another fabulous adventure in an international big shot video i'm about to be joined by the entire international big shot cinematic universe in a few minutes you'll be happy to know that lady aisha malaysian media superstar grace hr ling and her husband mr zeon will be joining me on the kl car free morning five kilometer walk it's a little bit before 7. The walk gets underway at 7. And we'll have more information when the other participants in the show get here. Malaysia 2024, Rakan Buddha, yang akan langsungkan. Terpasar yang pertama. Ada tiga yang disatukan dalam sesi perlepasan yang pertama. Saya ulang sekali lagi, rakan-rakan KL Coffee Morning. We're now joined by the entire International Big Shot Cinematic Universe. We have Lady Aisha, Malaysian media superstar Grace H.R. Ling, and Mr. Zian. Aisha, how many people would you say are participating in this event? It's like half a million? That's my estimate. That's too many, I think. Less? Less. A hundred? Uh, I don't know. I'm not good in math. Grace, what do you think is the crowd size for this group? I think it's 388. Because 380? Like <laughs> <laughs> no, no battery. Oh, it's still recording. Okay. <laughs> screen Grace doesn't want to miss any of her possible screen time. She's not the Malaysian media superstar for nothing. Bombing every photos. Before Grace became a media superstar. <laughs> She was a finance expert. And she's advising me on what to do with money if I don't want to put it in a fixed deposit. This is a topic that comes up occasionally for people that watch my channel because you know I just make fun of fixed deposits all the time. And if you have money and you think that a fixed deposit is a good idea, then give it to me. I can figure out something better to do with it. Invest in Grace. Or, yeah, exactly. You could just give it to Grace. Sorry, Grace. You guys you guys go around like two times. Uh -huh. So I end up 11 km. <laughs> we just passed the decision Double point right? where we could decide to walk either 3 or 5 km's. We chose the 5 km route. And this is the one where the roads become... They're not fully closed, so the cars are allowed in a lane or two and yeah, the KL car free that, morning right? walkers, riders, skaters the one, take right? the rest yeah. of the space. I'm wondering where all these people came from because when we left, when we pulled out, we were at the end of the line, but yet we're constantly being passed by people who are running. Yeah. I was just talking to Aisha that we are passing the jungle in the center of town location for the video that we made and i was lucky because when we made that video it was free for me to go in we both went in for free but now if we were to make that same video again it would cost me 40 ringgit i think aisha is still free i'm not free my entrance is free okay thanks for that clarification <laughs> Everybody's a linguist. Okay, here's an update. I don't know what time it is, so I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say it's like 8.15 maybe. Between 8 and 8.15. It's a Sunday morning and it's already humid, very humid. My sweat towel comes in handy during these times of the day. Usually it's a little bit later though. I think we're in the last 1 km of our adventure-filled walk this morning. Everyone seems to have gone quiet. 
tired, tired, and hungry. And of course, <laughs> that's right, hungry. If you know KL, then you'll recognize this as the so-called garment district. There's all kinds of clothing and fabrics for sale in the shops along this road, along with the occasional restaurant. Aisha, are you yeah. going to do the Zumba when we get done? No, I'm not. Maybe Grace. No, I'm not good at. Uh, I'm not good in shaking. Or maybe Grace dance. Gracie dance. You're not good at shaking. Yeah. You should take some Bollywood dancing lessons. Grace, Grace just said that I look young for my age, and I asked her what I thought or what she thought my age was, and she said 110. <laughs> I remember back in the day when I was teaching Grace the meaning of sarcasm. I think she's mastered the art. It's just one of the many things that you can find to do in Kuala Lumpur. There's always something going on here. And this, this area of town is like the epicenter of activity. We're right across the street from Dadarai Merdeka. We're in the parking lot of DBKL, which is the uh, city hall. And I seem to have lost my three companions. I don't know where they went. I think they went to get some Milo. I'm sorry, not Milo, Milo. If you come here and you see M-I-L-O on a green can, it's pronounced Milo. If you say Milo, they'll know you're a tourist. Okay, when they ask where we should eat afterwards, yeah. naturally, I suggested the El Rizwan, my favorite downtown eatery. Kopi panas. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have another fabulous car free weekend. Do you have anything you want to add? Nothing, just tired and sleepy. A woman, a few words. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Roger and out.